and I am back and still at it yes so I, this this little box right here um, whenever my girlfriend and I went um, shopping to uh, just level up princess green and really elevate her and you know get her all set up talking about my kitchen because I also call my kitchen princess green we looked at all kinds of different things and there was a lot of little parts that were missing to uh, the kitchen and you know I was just like I really just want to have my essentials you know, so I'm not trying to run and buy stuff, especially because I'm preparing, you know, for a different place in my life, you know, retiring down the road. And I don't want to have to be trying to, you know, I need this and I need that. I didn't get this and I didn't get that. And um, just thinking about how I want my kitchen to be for the long haul. So this is a long haul series. This is a series where, you know, I have bought investment pieces and I thought about, um, you know, well, you can buy all of these pieces separate, but that's a lot of money. And I was like, nope, not for me. I saw this cute kit and this kit is just so everything. It gives me life. This kit really, really gives me life. And it's because it has a little bit of everything in it. So I just opened it up. So we're doing a little bit of an unboxing per se on the kit. And it's just so nice. And it came with a little teeny uh, pizza cutter, a bottle opener, cap opener, which a lot of these things I did not have, which I have a pizza cutter, but I didn't have a bottle and cap opener, and a nice little, a small cheese grater, which I can also use for grating garlic. So that's a big deal for me. So that's a game changer in the kitchen right there. This piece right here for grating garlic. And um, a couple of more spatulas and some um, basting brushes. Basting brushes um, around the holidays are phenomenal. And wet dishes and dry dishes, spoons. So um, what I'm loving about these pieces is they are plastic and so I won't have to worry about when I go into my pots and pans, you know, scratching and scratching and scraping them up. So I'm excited about that. And um, some measuring cups. And you can just, you can really, you can never have enough measuring cups because I'm telling you, I don't know where these little spoons go, but they have disappeared so many times. Um, and I had a really nice set that I had gotten one time and it disappeared. I want to think my daughter got a hold of it. <laughs> and I just never saw it again when she got her apartment. But <clears throat> a nice whisk. This is a metal whisk too. The other whisks that I got are, they have like a plastic coating um, so that they won't scratch the pots and pans. But this is a, a metal one. But I do have a stainless steel set of pots and pans as well um, that I'm going to be um, putting in today and it's out in the storage a handheld can opener you can never have enough of those simply because of storms and if the power goes out an electric can opener ain't gonna do you no good and another a nice long handled very long handled spoon so this I could see using this in the stock pot and that would just be awesome and so I tried to fit this cute little caddy into one of my drawers and my drawers are not big enough so I'm going to have to actually unload this whole caddy into a drawer. Um, a cast iron skillet. I got just a small one, not a big one, got just a small cast iron skillet um, simply because I just wanted to have one. Um, and I could see cooking, you know, little small chicken wings, a little piece of chicken or pork chop or a nice piece of fish in there. Um, but one of the things that I in particular wanted this cast iron skillet for was cast iron skillets make the best homemade peanut brittle. 
If you want some good homemade peanut brittle, get you a nice cast iron skillet. And then of course, you know, measuring cups. And I would have loved to get the glass measuring cups, but they're kind of expensive. So I went with the plastic again. I'm not so big on the plastic because they stain. They do stain and if you're, you know, kind of rough around the kitchen like I am, <laughs> I have a tendency sometimes to crack the cups. So um, I've gone through a few measuring cups. I can say that those are um, some items that hubby has had to replace because I'll take it and put it down in the cabinet and move all other kinds of stuff around. Next thing you know, I go back to reach for it and it's cracked. So that's the disadvantage to the plastic ones but then imagine if it was glass so that's why I went on ahead with plastic again but this is just another addition um, to um, Princess Green's kitchen and we will continue